Hello Virgos, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another What's in Your Energy spread for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember this will not resonate with everyone out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it is not your story, my lovelies, it is simply, simply not your story. Please, please, please do not force it as I tend to go into a lot of deeper things here on this channel, such as healing generational curses and childhood trauma let's see what we got going on virgos hope everyone is doing well staying safe staying healthy i'm feeling really anxious and i was doing just fine until i started shuffling so um i do feel there is a lot of anxious energy around or someone like really nervous or um just like uh, a, a giddy feeling my loves let's see what we got going on this is your energy this is your surround your surrounding the mutual most likely outcome or what's to come i want to start here because that six of wands is really calling out to me my lovelies thank you so very much for all the birth oh look it there's one card over here that was kind of left there which is the hanged man stagnancy someone feels like I'm going to leave this over here, but someone's feeling like a very anxious feeling because there's like a, an I don't know type of energy around here. Ooh, chills, chills, chills. My loves, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for the birthday wishes. Uh, happy birthday, Virgos, for those that I've missed. My loves, go ahead and check out Crystals and Reiki. Um, I was able to get a coupon code from them. If you guys want to enter coupon Virgo Empress when you make your purchase, I'll put the link in the comment below. They were able to send me quite a few crystals. And I'm sorry, loves, my camera will never do it justice. Um, but oh my god, they are super amazing. Go ahead and check them out. We have the amethyst here These are just the raw crystals. Okay, so as you can see Go ahead check them out get the 20% put them by your bed where you sleep where you work just to clear that energy. Okay um, I'm, I'm putting them where I have all my Cards just to make sure that energy stays moving. So go ahead and check them out Virgos, over here you have the Six of Wands, you have the Nine of Swords, you have the Moon, and you have the Two of Wands. I'm getting like a real heavy accent. I don't know why. Like I want to speak with an accent, but I'm getting a real heavy accent. Almost like a feminine, I'm getting a feminine energy, but with a with a deeper voice. Okay, um, Pisces energy, Cancer energy. With the Six of Wands... Someone wants to fight or stand up for themselves or something. Like someone is so wounded is what I'm getting. There's a wounded energy where they're like, they're just ready to be like triggered. They're ready to like fight or something. Over here, my loves. Okay, we have. Mm. I feel like there is somebody who is upset that you're getting a lot of attention. That is what I'm getting. The Six of Wands, or perhaps they're upset that you're getting attention from someone in particular. I do feel that this has to do with you getting attention that is really driving somebody up, like, up the wall. I almost said absurd. But with the Six of Wands here, this talks about um, getting a lot of eyes on you, getting recognition, getting a promotion. Um, really catching a lot of attention. This is the finish line. This is feeling victorious. This is also, to me, this is, it can be wish fulfillment, but can also be self-love. And I feel strongly, my loves, that you're in a very radiant energy at the moment. You're in a very glowing era, you know what I mean? And it's quite literally showing. There's a lot of eyes on you currently, or perhaps you went out and you were just radiant you know ravishing and with this nine of swords here this talks about stress anxiety nightmares anxiety again somebody is very oh my god virgo is getting so much attention oh my god everyone's looking at virgo everyone has their eyes on virgo right now somebody is really devastated by this energy or very nervous or very scared 
I just heard a fork in the road but I'm getting strong like someone is also very much so locked up in their house locked up in their room locked up in like a mental prison thinking about you or thinking about this Virgo there's something that they're just struggling and and they're struggling to cope with you getting so much attention or they're struggling with how bad you have their attention with the moon here my loves Pisces cancer energy this talks about depression at times it talks about Dep you're the cause of somebody's mental break right here is what I feel you are the cause of somebody's mental breakdown or something there somebody is definitely having like a mental break right now and it's like they're still just thinking about you Virgo um It's like they didn't want you to shine, but you're shining anyways. And that's what they're like, uh, you know, um, because I'm hearing never let your light shine down, you know. Um, I just heard Wendy. Wendy. Wendy or Wendy. I do feel strongly like somebody is just wanting to... make things better with you they don't know how you feel though they don't know how you feel almost like they're they thought you were going to sink in some sort of aspect and you're not you're floating you know how they say sink or swim I'm not getting swim I'm getting like you're just floating, you know what I mean? Like you're just rising above whatever was thrown at you or rising above whatever situation or connection you had with this person or people. Um, I definitely feel like there's a, because I'm seeing a family tree, but I don't get family energy, but there is something in regards to a home life. I do feel like they feel like their family fell apart. Their family fell apart and rather than fighting back and forth, you're just floating above this situation. And it's causing them to really be like, oh my God, like the, like the only thing I can think about is Virgo. And I need to figure out what's going on with Virgo. Like, what are they thinking? Where are they at? Are we on the same page? Are they thinking about me? Like... I think you might be thinking about this person also like it runs through your head but I don't see you really fixated on it the way that they're fixated on you there is something about I don't think you and this person are on the same page your minds aren't in the same place either but there's still some sort of connection tied to you both whoever or whatever this is I do feel it is a person Virgos I do feel it is a person I'm also seeing a roller coaster like a roller coaster. Somebody is quite literally just like obsessing, stuck, just like they, they're like, I want to go home and I want to just think about how to get Virgo back or what Virgo's doing. Or is Virgo thinking of me? It's very strange energy. You're heavy, heavy on this person's mind. And it's like, it's too much. Is definitely too much over here in this energy my loves the lovers is Gemini energy the world Sagittarian energy in reverse the five of wands and the two of spokes in reverse I think we need to do a love reading after this because I'm getting heavy love energy on this particular situation. Oh. I think also somebody desperately wants your attention. And they're like deep in their head trying to get your attention also. This is super big obsession, my loves. Obsessing. 
obsessing over this, obsessing over you, and I have the chills everywhere. It's like they feel like it's taking too long to to get your attention. Or perhaps you feel this way with somebody or something. But I do feel strong like this has to do with like a love connection. There's a lot of like thoughts coming to the forefront, either for this person or for the both of you. There's a lot of thoughts coming to to light here and kind of like an aha moment about how you two feel towards each other, whether that be good or bad. Everyone's situation will be different. But over here, my loves, Gemini energy and also this hanged man underneath was Gemini energy. It's a very stagnant situation. There is definitely no contact here. I don't think that you are in contact with this person. With the lovers and the world, this is like something that was so um that felt so good at once upon a time just like dissolving not even being torn apart ripped apart it literally like fizzed out like dissolve you know i do feel that strongly like the lovers and the world here um it's like once upon a time but it didn't work out you know that's what i'm getting like the fairy tale start with a very s sudden ending. I don't even think there was like a proper goodbye. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think there was a proper goodbye regardless of how things ended, you know? Whether it was good or bad, there wasn't like a proper or like a mutual or like a no um, conflict type of ending. There was still like, there's still like some sort of like someone feels like they still don't have closure or they wish they had more time or something like that there's just it, it, it's like somebody wanted like um a grow old with me type of fairy tale and it didn't happen There's a lot to do with, like, there wasn't a lot of inner child healing here, either for you, Virgo, or for the both of you. There was a lot of inner child wounds that were um, manifesting in adult or in a relationship, right, in, in real time. And it was causing a lot of conflict. It was causing a lot of conflict, a lot of issues, a lot of drama, a lot of fights, whether this be you, this person, or the both of you. Um... There wasn't a lot of resolvement is what I'm getting. There wasn't a lot of resolvement or at least somebody feels that way in regards to how this separation took place or, or unfolded. Um, I also feel like somebody is really, really deep in their head. I think both of you are kind of deep in your head, whether it be about each other or about what the future holds for this connection or for you, Virgo. Um... There's a lot of mental energy, which also at the bottom of the deck, that hanged man, there's a lot of mental energy flowing between you and this person. I'm also getting like telepathy, like how you feel is how this person feels. How this person feels is how you feel. Like if you're thinking about each other or seeing things, like that's why it's like you guys are on the same uh, mental wavelengths but your minds aren't on the right page, if that makes sense. You guys are reading the same book, but just on different chapters. You know what I mean? Um, someone is also wishing that they fought a little bit harder before the situation ended, okay? I do feel this is a love connection here, Virgos, for some reason. With that two of uh, cups in reverse, that's Piscean energy. In the mutual energy... Hmm. I just heard I had to let go. I had to let go. In the mutual energy, we have the Page of Swords, which is the stalker card, my loves, and the Five of Dice. Page of Swords, Five of Swords. We have a lot of fire energy. A lot of fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And then the mutual, a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a lot of Gemini. Um, 
someone has the urge to come and speak and come and make things progress. That's what that is. Fire and, and air energy, that's what that means. Someone's getting a really strong urge to just hurry up and fix this. Someone is keeping an eye out. Someone is watching. Someone may have even seen you out and about or have heard that you were out and about. I do feel like someone saw you out and about, but you didn't see them, Virgo. I'm getting that strong. Like, you didn't see them, but they saw you. And they were watching you, possibly? Yeah, I'm getting that so strong. Hmm. Because I'm seeing like eyes, like eyes, like just like, like a tiger's eyes. Excuse me. I do feel strong like um somebody's being triggered by their in inner child. Somebody's inner child is definitely being triggered. There's like um some sort of like um like they want attention, you know what I mean? Like there's some sort of I want attention and it's being triggered all over again because they can't grab your attention, Virgo. So they're watching you and these wounds are starting to come back or they saw you and these wounds are starting to come back. And that's why I'm saying like they, they, don't, they don't like the attention that you're getting. And underneath the deck, we have the Ace of Scoops. Somebody wants to try again. Somebody wants to start new. Somebody wants to move forward. There is some sort of progressive energy here. Um, Taurus energy. It's just... There's a lot of ill feelings about the past. And how things manifested and played out. Yeah, there is some sort of like resentment or like... A, a, unresolved issues there for sure there is some unresolved issues there which is why someone is kind of um maybe both of you are kind of like did that end well did I do that right you know I do feel like there is this is a love matter for sure let's get some love messages if this message is resonating let me know in the comments below and if you haven't already please like and subscribe to the channel oh look head games yeah and it felt like to me it fell right here I do feel like sometimes this runs through your head, Virgo, and if not, it's running through this person's head the way that things ended here. Look, sleepless nights. I feel like it's like you guys switch energies because this is the head gate. This is the head games. This is the head games. This is the head games. And this is sleepless nights. So it's like you both might be feeling this, but I also feel like if this person feels this way, then you start to feel this way. And then when you start to feel this way, this person starts to feel this way. Like it's like a, I'm getting a very telepathic um, transfer of energy here. Head games and sleepless nights. I like attention. Again, somebody does not like that you're getting attention. I don't know how to express how I feel about you. Rather than saying like how they feel, they're just trying to get your attention. Self-love, self-worth. Yes, and now they see like you're in this glowing, radiant energy, my loves. Look at this. Gossip and jealousy. But gossip is, I feel, for here. So jealousy. This person is jealous of the attention that you're getting. And they're seeing now like how you've been carrying yourself and the radiance that's exhuming from your energy that they're just like, I don't know, you know, like they're just getting super jealous in their feelings and trying to get your attention. And then we have gossip in the middle. All right, again, spying. And then like there's also like um, this, the five of dice can mean things coming back to around, but it can also mean things behind your back, okay? So this person might be spying 
about things that are going on with you, but you don't know about this, right? People are also giving this person gossip about you or they're talking about you or ideas or something. Give me one more for the mutual. Oh, two. We have, I don't want anyone else to have you, just friends. Yeah, there's just definitely... There's definitely like a, I want to be more than friends. I want to be with you. I don't even want you to have friends that like you or something. Somebody saw you with someone, Virgo. Or someone saw you out and about. Or someone saw somebody they don't like commenting on you. Ooh, for some of you, I also feel like they're, they're mad because they feel like some of... Again, with the friends, they're mad because you have their friends' attention or something like that. Or someone's trying to see if you're messing around with a friend or something. I don't know. Or like friends are saying Virgo's over here with so-and-so. Or there's something about a friend or friends that are always up in the mix lately, especially Virgo. Let's get some soul confessions. Let's do a love reading after this. I'm not happy. I'm just comfortable. Um, Virgo, so you might be in your feels about, you know, where you stand in your love life, whether it be about this person or not. I come around when I feel like I'm losing you. All right. So this person kind of knows like you might move on or have moved on. Mental health issues are interfering. Again, somebody's going mad, like completely mad in their head. Underneath the deck, there's been too much damage between us. I'm afraid we won't be able to move forward from it. All right. So there's that, Virgos. That is what I have for you. I hope that helps. I hope that resonates. Sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so much. Talk to you soon.